The current outbreak of Ebola virus disease has been all over the news lately, and of course, many rumors and much misinformation has been spread. Here are 10 questions regarding the outbreak that will set the record straight about what is going on in West Africa. What is Ebola virus disease? EVD is an acute viral illness that used to be known as Ebola hemorrhagic fever. It is caused by three of the five species within the Ebola virus genus. Two species are capable of infecting humans, but do not seem to cause illness, say you can catch it, but you won't notice it. The other three can cause variable degrees of illness. Unfortunately, the Zaire Ebola virus is the most deadly strain, and has been identified as the cause of the current outbreak. In previous outbreaks, this strain has had a 90% death rate. Where did EVD originate? It is not entirely clear where the virus originated, though it is thought that bats might harbor the virus in their intestinal tract. It is likely that the virus made the transmission to primates through ingestion. The first humans to be infected and spread the disease likely went hunting and ate an infected animal. Bats, pigs, and dogs are all believed to be reservoirs for the virus. The first human outbreaks were in Sudan. Out of the 284 people infected in the first outbreaks, 151 died from the disease, 53%. What are the symptoms? Once a person has contracted the Ebola virus, it can take up to 21 days to become symptomatic. The disease causes flu-like symptoms including aches, abdominal pain, fever, vomiting and diarrhea. This leads to dehydration, failure of the liver and kidneys and hemorrhaging. Some patients may even go into cytokine storm in which the immune response is unregulated and in excessive amount of cytokine and immune cells damage tissues and organs, with potentially fatal results. However, there are many diseases that can cause these symptoms, so blood tests need to be done to rule out things like malaria, hepatitis, cholera, meningitis, and others. How is it treated? Well, it isn't really. Not directly, anyway. I know this doesn't sound very encouraging, but the best course of action is to give the patient support. Intravenous fluids will prevent dehydration. Keeping the patient cool can mitigate the effects of the fever. Pain relievers can add some degree of comfort and health officials will also monitor oxygen levels as well as blood pressure. There is not currently a vaccine to prevent EVD. What is the prognosis? This question unfortunately does not have a clear answer. Some outlets have been claiming the death rate is anywhere from 50 to 90 percent, but that is a huge variation and isn't necessarily an accurate figure to be used on a case-by-case basis. Prognosis is dependent on many factors, including the viral strain causing the infection, available medical care, and speed of diagnosis. Those that have the illness identified and receive treatment early stand a better chance of surviving the infection. Unfortunately, since the symptoms are rather generic and resemble so many other diseases, patients can be misdiagnosed which could delay treatment. How does it spread? The virus can spread through contact of bodily fluids, which is a bit problematic given the amount of sweat, vomit, and diarrhea involved with caring for a patient. The virus can also be spread through semen up to seven weeks after the onset of disease, even once symptoms have abated. Ebola is also somewhat unique in that it is still virulent even after its host has died. This means that those who prepare the body for funereal customs must take extreme precautions, 